Uh, my name is Diego and I am a leader here. My name is Christina Carlos and I'm eight years old. Hi, my name is Rafael Avendaño. I'm the director of programs at Siena Youth Center. Um, my name is Asha and I'm seven years old. My name is Angela and I'm ten years old. My name is Lila Mack and I am a coach here at Siena Youth Center. My name is I am eight Yes, I have. Uh, I have been a bully, actually. Have I been bullied? Actually, yes. In sixth grade, I was bullied. Um, because when I was young, I, I, you know, I was picked on because I didn't know English growing up, and that affected my trajectory on like learning. And um, I used my power and my strength to get what I wanted. And also, when people, I've seen someone bully them by talking about other people and then saying bad things about them behind their back. I think you often become a bully if you're insecure about something, if you're jealous, um, and you take out that anger or that frustration about something going on in your life, or personal anxieties you have, <coughs> by bullying someone. I think you can also end up becoming a bully because oftentimes it's easier to be mean than to be nice. I think people become bullies because they don't know how to express themselves. They don't know how to open up and say, you know, I got this issue going on. You know, um, I'm, I need some support, I need some mentorship. And uh, when the bully starts realizing that the bully is loved, the bully starts to change. Because sometimes people bully them, so they want to um, give revenge and do it back to other people. And then sometimes they get used to it, so they um, start doing it um, a lot. I think it's because, like, something happened to them and they didn't like the feeling of, like, vulnerability, so, like, they like, they bully the people for power and it makes them feel big. Right. It's like something that kids come back to do to make people feel They don't have brains and they've been bullied before. Uh, bullying is when somebody else uses, somebody, uh, uses their force to get a certain thing. Uh, either with uh, verbal, physical, or uh, emotional um, abuse uh, to get things that they want, even though they're wrong at times. Bullying is like like um, hurting somebody's feeling in a way, like like they don't like it. I think it's just a word for unkindness. It's like putting people down for things that they have no control over. Bullying, I would say it's unfair. Um, harassment of another person um, in a way that it makes someone not, not feel good, it makes someone feel bad, and there's no reason to do that. I would I, I would get in, so anytime somebody's, uh, like I see somebody being punked on, like, or like bullied on, I would like tell them to stop. I would just By defending kids that get bullied and telling them not to do that. I'm telling everybody to stop and tell everybody that um, we are affecting people's lives. I would tell them to stop or ask an adult about it. I do my best to stop bullying here at CNA Youth Center by providing a safe space, um, providing a place for us to listen, learn, and respect each other, a place that there's rules um, of listening, learning, and respecting, and uh, for us to have a common language also. Uh, to be, make sure that the bully understands where it is that he's coming from and why it is that he's coming from that space. So trying our best to tackle that issue. I feel that, uh, like good that they're standing up now because I remember like before they would just keep to themselves and I guess that's how depression starts and stuff like that. And they would like try to harm themselves. So it's good that they're like, um, uh, like elaborating on what they've seen. Yeah, I mean, seven out of ten kids, you know, um, have been bullied. I think it's true. I think uh, a lot of people, even now in America, bully people where you see our president doing that every so often. And I think it's, it's, uh, it's something that's very common. I think it's really, really sad, and I wish that it was lower. I think that 
Um, you know, in the past, a lot of people were physically bullied. There were like fist fights in schools all the time. I know when my parents were growing up, that was just part of their kind of every day was that someone would get into a fight and then someone would, you know, break their jaw or break their lip or whatever. So I'm glad that that kind of thing has become less common these days. And I hope that, you know, in the next 50 years, th those kinds of statistics, about 70% of people having seen or experienced bullying will also go down. Bad because, of, because people shouldn't be bullied because it's just bad because people do it a lot, but they shouldn't be doing it. I know that people know that they shouldn't be bullied.